Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Kavya Sama Love is War season 3 episode number 9 reaction. All right, the previous episode um uh first of all we get to see how, how K and you know like uh, K's uh, school is also having like a festival. So she kind of said like you know like bring some proper dress dress up properly and come to my school and there was that whole section with like you know the hilarious fashion sense of shirogane <laughs> and by the end we also see like you know the dad is like you know like at fashion even his dad is better than him and in the end we get to see how shirogane usually like you know explains how he keeps all the money for um for k you know and his like you know her uh, clothes and everything and uh, how he kind of sacrifices his own things for her but at the same time later on we see k herself brings out her birthday money to like you know, <laughs> dress up shirogane and you know, buy for some clothings so both of them are you know like kind of giving their own things for the others which kind of shows how uh, you know like good of a family they are and in the end um yeah shirogane goes in his new dress to his school to her school and later on we kind of see even though k kind of says like ah my brother always does this always does that in the end she is proud of her him and uh, that was the first part the second part was kaguya um like you know getting to know that if you give like a heart shaped anything to the other person that person like you know, will get married and all that stuff that type of a jinx is going on so <laughs> <laughs> and she kind of tries to find out how to give something to the president and later on she, she sees how the president is like you know working hard and yeah and she realizes how much she likes him and later on this is the first time Kaguya actually tells Hayasaka that yeah admits that I like him and uh, and then the final section we get to see the whole thing with Ishigami Ishigami uh, uh, like you know like the that uh, what was the name of the girl Os no, forgot the name. The glasses girl. Um, you know, like we get to hear that she's actually dating the, the, uh, the leader, the team leader of the chair leading club. That that guy. Um, and uh, how like you know Ishigami kind of felt relieved that, uh, Subame is not you know like with him, and <laughs> we get to see how Kaguya and Ishigami's like you know position are kind of the same. Both needs to like you know wants to confess. Both cannot, and both doesn't have enough time and uh, like and they kind of said in the end that this is like a dual confession arc so i'm i'm guessing probably ishigami and kaguya both are going to confess that's why dual confessions arc so let's see what happens this is episode number nine let's start i'll be putting the subtitles and the time right here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go Oh boy. Oh yeah, she has arrived at the school. Heart to heart. Ocean Festival, burning love reach everyone. Alright, here we begin. Hmm. Feelings first is considered to her. <laughs> I wonder who actually started liking the other at the beginning. Oh, is this a flashback? Okay, interesting. We're going to see. <laughs> uh, and he became the president within that ah uh, okay interesting so this is how it's everything started wow obviously it's good 
Is this a president at that moment? Damn, who is this guy? He looks like some kind of a villain. <laughs> That's the president. Okay. Damn, this guy is. Oh, there you go, Kavya. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So, Kag okay. Yeah, he wants that. Okay, so he wants to bring a change. He wants to make a revolution, this guy. Okay. There you go. Okay, interesting. Okay. Offer more in okay, okay. Never meet outside the academy. Ah, oh, connections. Yep, connections. Hmm, obviously. Ah, so he went. Okay, okay. So he, he also wanted to recruit them as well. Ah, people who know themselves. Blood. What? What type of a name is this? Make it look. <laughs> hmm. Oh my god. What the? Yo! That won't work. He's... Oh, he can't swim. Okay, so he's the one who... No, wait, that's Kaguya. I thought it was the president. Oh my god. Ah, uh, so that's when he... I guess he's the one, that means that gives me the answer. He was the one who first started liking her. Yeah. Mm, there you go. So he's the one who. That's why I think the narrator said that he has already lost because. <laughs> Are you?
Well, you did. We wouldn't see eye to eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh that is that why he decided to become the president ah yeah there you go damn so him everything started with kavya then all right whoa <laughs> Kavya's culture festival. Wait, what? <laughs> Whoa, okay. <laughs> Is that Miku? Hatsune Miku? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yo, what did she come? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the same cosplay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. All right, stop. Stop that. <laughs> ah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right. Until one PM. <laughs> when is she going to do that? Ah. Yeah, they all did say. <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Oh no. If Oh my god. Yeah. Damn. What was that? What? Boys, those guys. I remember them. <laughs> no, wait. Yeah, it is that guy. Uh, the guy who, from, who, who told Chica that, you know, it's one of, one of my people. The whole meme. <laughs> Jay Kun. Sanchan. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> uh. Imperial hot. Damn. <laughs> oh my god. Yo.
Oh no, he's fl- Oh no! Oh no! Well, she's used to it, you know? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh no, Kaga's going to be pissed. Oh my god! <laughs> yep, here we go. Oh. Okay, okay, because she... No, 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 she, like, you know, like, I'm pretty sure she goes to tea ceremonies and everything, like, the... Oh, wait, he's here. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, she's used to this. She, she must be used to the, like, you know, making tea. Because, you know, like... Tea ceremonies and everything. Damn, the music. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> His face, I cannot. Subarashi. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> A golden drop? Okay, calm down. <laughs> oh my god, yo, your tea! What the hell is it? The taste of love. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, is this still... <laughs> Are we all looking in the other direction? <laughs> oh my god, no, I... <laughs> Oh. oh no, please don't. Wait, who? Wait. It's is... <laughs> you're gonna die. <laughs> Wait, that's Shogun's dad, isn't it? Part two, okay. You Ishigamis. Okay. Oh, it's from his perspective now. Okay. Okay, they're good friends now. Ono that I and uh... <laughs> <coughs> running start. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Yeah. Like for Ishigami, like they have be very recently become friends. What the? Wait. Oh, it's Maki. Yeah, Sundar Senpai. What the? Um. Yeah, he she understands because Kashiwagi is probably. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so relatable, isn't it? Yeah, uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> because I've already yeah is that so Uh. Um, hello? Oh my god. What- what's happening here? Wow, everyone's here now. Oh my god. What is happening? Oh my god, what is... Yeah, what was that? <laughs> well, I guess. <laughs> I don't think so. No, it was. Oh, yeah, that was a carpet on. That was different. Okay, never mind. All right, here we go again. Let's get out of here. <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Hmm. Oh. Ah. Really? Oh. What? <laughs> oh, these two! Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, that's sad. <laughs> Alright, come on, now's the time. Come on.
Oh my god, look at those guys. They're just ready waiting. Alright, here we go. Um <laughs> that, that smile. <laughs> Alright. Come on, come on. Okay. Alright, there you go. <laughs> Okay, everything's going well. <laughs> yep, these three. <laughs> what? What is this? Uh... Oh, Kavya is here. What? What is happening? Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. What was that in the end? What? Okay, I'll, I'll need to go back at that part and check it again. But either way, I feel like this is like a like positive direction for Ishigami, while Kavya has still not been able to do anything. Like at least Ishigami asked her out to go some like you know, go to the horror house. While like I was going to say that it would be a little bit difficult for Ishigami because you know unlike Kaguya and Shirogane, who has been like you know associated for so long, like they could easily casually ask each other out and be like oh let's go there like i'm saying it like this but it's a very big hurdle for them i know that but still you know like at least they are associated with each other they're both from the student council there is something to go on but ishigami at this like you know like i guess he is her friend but still, you know, like, it's not that he has any official excuse, like, Kaguya has something like, oh, we're in the same council, student council. That's why, and they, you know, because their association has been quite longer than Ishigami and Subame. I was thinking Ishigami is going to struggle a little bit, like, but he did it pretty well. There you go. And I'm guessing he's a little bit ahead of Kaguya and uh like, at least he went and asked her out and she was like all right let's go well kavya is just free <laughs> because of the the whole like you know queue and the line you know like she, she, and because the cafe was busy she couldn't do anything all right we begin this episode with a little flashback a flashback of what happened when shirogane joined this school <clears throat> now interesting like you know this is one thing that i always had interested in I, I was like how like you know did shirogane and kaguya start liking each other now i do we do know the actual moment when shirogane started liking kaguya we don't know when kaguya started liking shirogane though the exact moment i'm hoping they are going to let us know in the future with another flashback like this just like in this episode uh, maybe in the future we are going to get another flashback like this which is going to show what happened with Kamiya, how she started liking Shirogane this and that and how she joined the student council because I do remember the president telling that oh Kamiya has refused to join the student council so why and when did Kamiya join the student council I'm pretty sure it was after Shirogane became the president. Then why did she join? You know, because she didn't want to join, according to the previous president. Something like that. So I wonder what made her change her mind. Maybe, uh, no, probably not. Because I, I was going to say maybe after she started liking Shirogane, she also joined. But no, that, that, that's probably not what happened because I remember in season one them, give, them giving us flashbacks of the 
time when uh, Kaguya was still called the Ice Princess and that was the time when she was inside the student council, you know, she was the vice president. I remember that scene, the flashback where Shogun and Kaguya was talking and Kaguya was, you know, like very cold and everything. That, that little flashback we used to get in season one. So it is after she joined that she probably mellowed out. So anyways, I'm, I'm, I, I hope they give us that, you know, when did Kaguya started liking? Shogun and why did she join the council? Okay, um, so the flashback starts with Shirogane being uh, like, like it was a mistake coming here because like, yeah, I don't have anyone to talk to. Everyone's just pompous and just, you know, like because they're rich and they don't care uh, to interact with a person like him. So he's like, ah, like, you know, I'm just sick and tired. Like, you know, this, this place did give me a lot of facilities, but other than that it has been a mistake coming here so as, as he was like you know just sitting down and eating in comes the student council president at that moment and oh my god this guy who does he remind me of like this guy reminds me of ah yeah, orochimaru i was like who does this guy remind me of he reminds me of orochimaru you know I, I, can you see that you know his face especially you know, that 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 pale white face with the, the the weird way he looks at you as if he's you know like calculating all of your movements and everything and you know like oh no he reminds me of orochimaru and um gin from bleach you know uh the guy with the eyes closed yeah those two it's like a weird mixture of them <laughs> anyways so like yeah he looks like a typical villain like you know like but but not a villain as per se but he looks like one of those very calculative like you know masterminds who is like you know in, in the antagonistic position to like you know against the main protagonist or something that type of a character um <laughs> anyways he he's like oh like you know hello there you know like uh, come with me and he like you know, brings him to the press student council and asks him that uh, I want you to join the student council and he's like why like you know like there's like that girl and we also kind of saw Kaguya leaving at that moment you know going on her own way and we see her eyes and everything is just very cold and obviously ice princess as they called her so <clears throat> yeah now Shogun is like wait like there's that girl like the sh sh Shino give me a girl you know why not ask her and why me like, you know what, what am i going to do and uh, i don't have like you know i'm not like someone special i'm i don't have any special skills i'm just a normal guy so he says something interesting he's like according to him as far as i could understand he wants to make a revolution not revolution as per se like revolution is a big word but I would like to say he, will, he wants to make a change in this, this monotonous like thing of, you know, like only the, like, you know, like the influential people succeed here, that type of a thing, like, you know, your pedigree, your, your, your ancestors, you know, how much influential they are, that's going to actually represent you as a person, that type of a thing. He wants to make that change. And... Uh, <clears throat> You know, like he's like, that's why I'm talking to you. You who has, like, you know, you, who is in no way similar to all of these people. And uh, he asks him, why have you come here? If you're that much not interested. And he says, like, this, gives, this place gives a lot of aid. And uh, that's why I'm here. <clears throat> so the president brings up an interesting point. He says that here in this school, you are going to get to meet with a lot of people who have who, who are influential that's something that this school can give you, you know? you'll get connections and i feel like you know like now that we are seeing how shirogane is getting ready to go to uh, like an outside um we can see how he's making those like you know work for him those connections like you know because i remember seeing in the previous episode he went to the principal and he was like yeah, I want to go outside and like you know, study abroad. And the principal was like, okay, because since you're the school student council president and I know you myself, I'm going to give you a letter of recommendations. There you go. You know, like since he was he joined the uh, student council, 
you know like he's influential you know and everyone lives like likes him and everything and even the principal knows him he got this recommendation letter of recommendation which he never would have gotten if he went to some other school or he never became the president so <clears throat> yeah now <clears throat> the president the president you know the, the previous president he and Shirogane goes to the swamp <clears throat> and it's called the blood swamp <laughs> and they see like you know, everyone like cleaning up the mess and all and here Shirogane is like uh, oh no nah, uh, the president is like we need to also do this job because at least we need to make people know that yeah we are doing something and Shirogane at first Shirogane was like is this guy making me do his errands is that what he's trying to do now one of the girls fall down wait do we know this girl no no we don't know this girl i was going to say like do we know this girl or something no i don't think we know this girl anyways a girl falls down in the swamp and is almost drowning and everyone's like oh should we go in what should we do should we wait you know like who knows what is in that swamp who knows what disease in there is in there all that now, <clears throat> Shirogane is like, oh, what should I do? You know, like, should I, should I go in and I cannot swim? Or should I just try to get someone who can actually help the situation out? Now, he's like, somebody, somebody, please do something. And one thing I'm trying to see here, Kaguya jumps in, he takes in a rope. She takes in a rope, just I think she grabs it, and jumps in. And the president is like, pull them up. And yeah, they drag them out. So I'm what I'm trying to figure out here is that so Kavya also did not know how to swim. Like, there's a big reason why I'm trying to find out if Kavya can swim or not. That would mean that Shirogane, like, you know, like, even when Shirogane was, knew himself that, oh, I could not swim, you know, he did not go. But Kaguya, if she did not know how to swim, which I think she cannot, otherwise, why would she grab the rope, you know, and, and put it in, like, you know, tie it in, his, in her waist? I think she also didn't know how to swim or something like that. Even though she did not know how to swim, she probably jumped in. Correct me if I'm wrong, you know. Like, I think she did not know how to swim. Even if she did not know how to swim, she jumped in and helped, like, you know, the girl out. So, <clears throat> that would actually mean that, um, obviously, Shirogane, since he cannot swim, he got startled. He was like, what should I do? If he knew, to sw knew how to swim, I'm guessing he would have probably jumped in as well. But here's the, the, the big thing here. He stopped because of his inability to do something. While Kaguya, if Kaguya also did not know how to swim, then Kaguya even did, did not stop even at that. She, she jumped in without thinking of what's like, you know, going to happen. If, if she'll be, like, you know, if she'll drown or not, if she'll be able to save the other person. Now, here's one thing um, I, I was probably going to say is that certain times, you know, you actually need to make a proper cal 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 like, you know, collected, uh, like, you know, proper calm decision where situations like this arise where you need to think that which one i should do should i try to go in even if i don't know what to do or should i wait for an expert help now if like you know this situation shirogane needed to, like you know anyone anyone needed to jump in even though they did not know how to swim somehow or the other just like how kaguya did kaguya took the rope and jumped in you know um, they needed to do that otherwise the girl would have drowned or something else would have happened to her she would have probably you know like gone, gone underwater so time was of the essence here so you needed to do something and that was quick there are certain times as well where time is actually not of the essence and where you should actually take the other decision of like oh since I'm not expert at this I should actually wait or I should actually Try to get someone who can who is actually an expert on this at that moment like you know like you should like if time is not of the essence you should actually try to bring someone who could do it you know not just jumping in blindfolded 
even though you don't know what to do because otherwise you yourself would be putting yourself in danger and would, won't be able to help the other person but since this this moment time was of the essence yeah what kavya did was absolutely correct so yeah that was just something that i wanted to like you know i, I think that that's how it should go but uh, yeah like kavya did not wait kavya just jumped in and you know like uh, we also see hayasaka there as well waiting and hayasaka says like uh, anyone could have done that but no one did it you did it but kaga as always kaga was like nah you know I, I just helped her out because i needed her connection but obviously that's not the case okay so here obviously this is the time when uh shirogane realizes that anyone could have done something but no one did it everyone was either thinking what's going to happen if we jump and know what to do whether we should do it or not but this girl took became proactive and did that thing so he he realized that how even though she is rich and everything even the, the way he was looking down on people because they were rich you know that's not the case here everyone is human you know like some people are rich some people are poor that doesn't mean that all the time rich people will be snobby or will be you know like ill mannered or won't help others won't be kind will be cruel not always there definitely are different types of people and you know like every person is different and kavya is different in that way you know he was not able to do anything while the person who he was looking down upon thinking that oh they have everything that's why they are here that person did something which he was not able to do at that moment which probably made him start liking her and that was the moment and i remember the narrator saying like if the person who falls in love first loses then shirogane has already lost which kind of hinted that yeah that was the case shirogane started liking kaguya before kaguya did it so in that way if you think of it in that way you know love is war yeah i guess shirogane has lost but and and shirogane here asks the president so what type of a person could stand beside her and the president was like well i can because i'm the student council president and shirogane was like all right then i'll become the student council president then and i'm guessing he joined and the you know became the president later on all right that was the flashback it was nice to see i would love to see something like you know like a flashback like this from kaguya's perspective and everything and how she's joined the the you kind know, of council and what happened hopefully we get something in the future now hoshin festival has started now kaguya has the like, you know like kaguya's class like you know, the, the, the the class is doing um, a cosplay cafe i love the fact that there was hatsune miku here <laughs> in the cosplay <laughs> anyways um so Kaguya has put on the traditional Japanese dress, you know, Yamat uh, like uh, just like a Yamato Nadeshiko. She is looking amazing and she's like everyone's like, "Oh, perfect, perfect." You know, this just fits you so well. And she's also like, "Yeah, maybe president will also like this." While Hasaka is Hasaka, a butler or a maid, you could say. And she's like, <laughs> "I love like you know one thing that was really unusual about this episode the the way they kind of did this episode. There was so many sections that was actually weird, you know, like the way they were. For example, Hasaka just like you know just standing at that place and talking to Kaguya, telling how oh like you know like this concept of doing something different, you know, is actually the reason for this cosplay cafe. While Kaguya was like, oh, this is like the same for you because you're my like you know like you're my butler in in my house." and the the way they were doing that part is like you know like she was talking there was only two of them there were two walls and the whole place was shaking the camera and there was like this weird noise that was like you know happening i'm like what the hell is this you know, like some kind of a horror show or something like <laughs> there were multiple section in this episode that they did did like this you know especially the ending the ending was so unusual it was actually kind of creepy at sometimes <laughs> anyways um so kagya is like all right let's see when the president will come and everyone puts kagya outside as a poster girl and uh, she's like okay so um yeah i'm going to wait president is going to come and obviously i'm sure president will also like this you know this dress and everything 
and she's like then we can like you know hang or like you know hang around and later on i'm going to confess but the thing here was that since Kavya was outside, everyone just came in. Everyone just like, you know, like just started coming. There was like a huge line in front of the, the whole thing. And Kavya was like, oh my God, even if president comes now, he will be stuck in the end. Now, oh my God. Then in, then comes the, those two, those two, the ramen guy and the, what was their name? Jay, I think. Yeah, Jay and the other guy. The guy when like you know who kind of the whole Chika episode where Chika just ate everything like and then he was like oh is this one of our people <laughs> you know that meme that became a huge meme <laughs> okay so so this guy he's like okay um we are here you know let's order and he's like I like to order a cup of coffee and uh, Kaguya is writing it down and Kaguya was going to pour the coffee and he's like stop like you you're not good enough that person over there asaka <laughs> looking, looking at her i can understand the i can feel the experience in her and you know like her way of pouring the coffee and the milk is just perfect you know, i want her to serve me you're you're not good enough and we all like and we know like <laughs> kage has this weird rivalry with asaka all the time and Hasaka loves to tease her because of that. And Hasaka's like, ah, oh, thank you so much. I knew there would be someone who would be able to realize my potential. And you know, this girl, she's not, she's not good enough. You're correct. So let me pour, <laughs> pour the coffee. And Kabe was getting pissed off. You know, and oh my god, this whole scene where this guy starts explaining about how coffee should be, like, you know which like talks about the galaxy and the whatever like you know the golden drop or whatever she was saying <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and Kage was like nope i'm not having this like you know hasaka cannot like you know you know like surpass me at anything you know like so he's she's like all right she can do coffee i can do tea and then like you know like you can you can if you want to judge me you know judge on my tea like you know brewing ability now obviously kaguya is since she's like you know like uh from a rich family i'm pretty sure she probably went to a lot of lessons uh flower arrangement like ikebana um tea ceremonies uh, maybe piano and all those stuffs you know like in in anime in, in anime that we see all the rich people that they do go to piano classes this and that Go to tea ceremony classes all that stuff you know i'm pretty sure kaguya did all of that that's why her tea brewing ability should be the best so that's why she was like yeah i can do the tea so she goes and and, and she, as she was going to brew the tea she realized that shirogane is here and she's like oh my god what am i supposed to do now and uh then when sat down and she was like all right like let me do the tea first she goes, the kind of brews the tea, tea quickly gives it to those two, and he drinks it, and he's like, "Ah, this is perfect. There is something in this tea that I can feel. It is it's a taste of love. <laughs> this is a cup of tea that was refined for one person only, and he he starts screaming that out loud, while Kagya is like, "Shut up, keep quiet." And oh my God, that scene was so hilarious. He just. <laughs> punches the table the team starts flying the droplets are flying and we see that he just looks like this the, the droplets are still in slow motion he, he moves his face his <laughs> glasses are shining <laughs> and he's like i pray with all in my heart that your love will have a happy ending you sweet little Taishuera girl, oh my god. And, and while he said all of that, the droplets are still in slow motion or in the air, just floating. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that was a Dragon Ball Z scene, I feel like. <laughs> now, okay, so... They took 1,600 yen for two cup of kati. <laughs> god damn, that's pricey as hell. Oh, okay, so 
you know all that happened and kaguya is like then kaguya goes to shirogane like you know gives him the tea and shirogane is drinking it and the, the two guys they kind of start peeking and then one of the guy jay is like oh so th this is the guy and the other guy the ramen guy he comes in and <laughs> shirogane is drinking the tea <laughs> He's, he's just standing here looking on the other direction. It's like, ah, so it's you. <laughs> Ooh, wow, oh my god. I love these, like, you know, these. <laughs> the way they do these are hilarious. Ah. Okay, so then Kage is outside. Kage is like, ah, like, thank god, like, you know, everything's over. I really hope no more strange, middle aged uh, guests come after this and as he was she was saying that in comes <laughs> shirogane's dad he was, he was the way he was looking he's like what did he say he smiles <laughs> he just smiles <laughs> oh, oh my god i, I love that uh, that was kaguya now is the time for Ishigami. What Ishigami is doing? Ishigami and Subame. Subame is there, they're kind of doing the thing. And Ishigami is ready. Ishigami is like, okay, like Subame Senpai is going to take the break now. So, you know, what am I supposed to do? How should I ask her out? And as I was saying, like, I was thinking, like, maybe she'll have a little bit problem asking her out because at least Shirogane and uh, Shinomi are in the same student council president, uh, student council, and they have been like together for like so many years. So I thought that, that they will be a lot more comfortable, but but Ishigami will have problems. But at least by the end of it, we see he does ask her out. So, anyways, he was thinking all of that while in comes um, Maki. I think that was her name. Yeah, the the Sundre Senpa, uh, <laughs> Sundre Senpa. <laughs> and uh, Maki comes in, and Maki is like, "Oh, guess who it is?" And she starts talking with him, and she's like, "Ah, I understand your pain, you know." And all like you know, he she was giving him so much good advice, and like you know, while giving him advice, he she herself was suddenly like you know having insane mood twists, get breaking down suddenly, talking about the whole situation, and she's like, ah, oh, I understand, you know, like I understand, like you know, like the pain you're feeling, like you want to confess but you cannot, and by the end you actually see that <laughs> it's too late. And she's like, don't, don't do that, please. Don't, don't, like, you know, make, like, you know, be too late. <laughs> so, okay. Now, a really weird thing happens here. I don't understand what the hell happened after that. Um, the, the Kashiwagi's boyfriend, what was his name? Subaki or something, I don't know. You know he comes in. Things get so weird over here. He starts talking, the, the music changes. Like, you know, uh, Kashiwagi's boyfriend says, like, oh, you, you should have said that, you know, like, I, I, I'm, I'm good friends with her, I could have set you up. In comes Kashiwagi. And she's like, oh, Maki, you're here, it's so crowded, you could get lost. And it starts getting weirder and weirder, this part. Like, what the hell was this? She's talking with Maki. Maki's like, I spotted my friend, so I just. And Kashi was like, You're both friends with him? Oh my god. And then Kashiwagi and. Not Kashiwagi, what's her name? Um, Maki and, you know, uh, the guy, Suba, uh, Subaki, I think. Both of them have this weird thing going on. Shiro, uh, uh, Ishigami is like. It's like drawn weirdly. The music is weird. Okay, and then like Kashiwagi is just And here Ishigami Ishigami also says the same thing. Ishigami is like I don't know why, but I'm getting these weird terrifying vibes for this person. From Kashiwagi. Wait, what? Is she like a psycho or something? I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me. Oh yeah, yeah, I, oh my God, I think she's a Yandre. You know why? Because you remember in that episode when he, she was talking with Kaguya, talking about how she had hired a private detective or whatever, and she was talking about how 
Yeah, oh god, yup. She, she's like a, she's a yandere or something, I think. I should have understood that on, this, on that episode. I thought that, that episode was like the whole, the, the whole thing of her freaking out over like, you know, Maki and um, um, uh, Kachuk's boyfriend. Like, you know, they, both of them, that, that whole scene was done in a comedic manner. Like, you know, her over-exaggerating the things and everything. Like, oh, I hired a private detective. I spied on them. I was stalking them, this and that, he, she said. I thought that was like an over-exaggerated comedic thing that they did. Maybe not. Maybe she really is crazy. She's like a yandere or something, I feel like. Like, again, here, you know, you see how, um, you know, like, Saki, that's his name, Shakashi's boyfriend, he and Maki was at the same place. And she comes in and the whole atmosphere changes. And she's like, oh, what are you doing here? You know, like, oh, both of you are friends with Ishigami? Oh, and then, oh, yeah, 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 okay. I think she's she's crazy. She's probably crazy. Kashiwa is crazy. I can feel that. My God. <laughs> I th I really thought that was like a like over exaggerated comedic thing that they did. Maybe not. Either way, like this this was really weird. And even Ishigami says that's why I'm like you know stressing this point. And since Ishigami himself said that I'm feeling some weird vibes from her. Either way, enough about that. Um. So. Okay, and then uh, Kashiwa again, like, you know, the guy, they start, you know, kind of making flirting and everything, and, oh my god, and <laughs> Mark is like, ah, this is what I have to, this is why I ha what I have to suffer. And, uh, she starts talking about, like, you know, uh, Maki says that, why don't you uh, ask her out, Subame out, to go to your class's attraction, you know, the haunted house thing, and she talks about how, like, you know, like, uh, you could be together at that same place for a few minutes and you know maybe she'll hold your hand maybe she'll you know, lean on you hug on you hug you or something like you know like all that stuff she says <laughs> and it's a male and a female player pair so that it, everything would work out <laughs> then she's like oh, what what happens to the third person you know <laughs> he's is like she goes alone that person has to go alone Nothing you can do about it. <laughs> oh. And uh, <laughs> she start, he starts calling her Miss Mood Swings or Kawaiso Senpai. Kawai. I think that's what he says. Okay. Yeah, Kawaiso na Senpai. She, uh, like, translation was Miss Mood Swings. Uh, Miss Mood Swings. I don't think that's the proper translation. Kawaiso. Yeah. No. So, either way, Ishigami is like, all right, let's, you know, like, she, she, he's trying to go and, like, you know, ask her out, but Maki gives her the push. Maki is like, don't worry, if she doesn't go out with you, yeah, like, you know, like, I'm, I'm there, I, I'll go out with you, but please don't let that happen, you know, do your best. <laughs> and he goes to Subaki, uh, Subame and he's like, Senpai, will you go to the haunted house with me? And Subame is like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Ishigami is so happy. All right, the next scene. What the hell happened here? It's like a weird, like, you know, like, it seems like as if you, you, like, you know, it's like a horror anime or something. You're watching the whole scene from like a, uh, like, you know, the, like a camera or something. And, uh, I can see Kashiwagi, her boyfriend, Maki there. Oh God, that's that girl. Girl, what's her name? The the glasses girl. She's waiting there. With looking in a hooded, you know, like costume. Then, oh my God. What it happens here? Like I don't. It's like weird scenes that pops up suddenly and then suddenly like Maki is like oh there you go like you know like uh, Kaguya come here come with me I'm guessing she, she probably dragged in Kaguya because she wanted someone to go with <laughs> and then we suddenly see um, her uh, the glasses girl I, I, I'm forgetting her name and it, it'll take a little bit of time for me to get used to her name um, we see her looking at the camera 
and the narrator says next episode the first years will attack kahuya and maki what why first year And they kind of show us um, Onodera and Eno's face. And <laughs> later on, we see Shirogane's dad. It's like, yo. And Shirogane's like, whoa, go home. Get a job. You better not have pulled any weird stunts. And the narrator says that he has. I wonder what he did because after that scene when he meets Kaguya. They kind of went to a different scene and we don't see what happened, what, like, you know, what interaction he and Kaguya had. So maybe he did something. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Either way, that was a fantastic episode. Um, next episode, I'm guessing it will continue from here. We'll see. So that's it. Thanks for watching. This was my reaction to Kaguya-sama Love is War Season 3 Episode Number 9. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out that's it guys thanks for watching i will see you guys next week with another episode of kagasama love is war until then goodbye and have a nice day